Uh, it's like an episode of CSI, except this is real life, and it's unfolding in a lab in Fort Worth. Scientists are trying to solve the last mystery surrounding one of the most grisly serial killers in American history. CW33's Don Tongish has more on how new technology may unlock the secrets of old crimes. When they paint the image that I was this monster who who picked up like these altar boys along the street and, and swatted them like flies. I said, this is ludicrous. They called him the clown killer, John Wayne Gacy, who denied until his execution his crimes. Vengeance is mine, say it the Lord, because you will have executed somebody that didn't commit the crime. After his arrest in 1978, police pulled the bodies of 33 young boys and men from the crawl space of his Chicago home, who had been lured inside, sexually assaulted, and murdered. But eight of the victims were never identified, remaining John Doe for decades. But possibly not for long, scientists at the University of North Texas Center for Human Identification in Fort Worth are analyzing those remains using DNA technology that didn't exist then to uncover the truth now. These remains now go back over 35 years, some of them, and, and that's just too long of a period of time for, you know, a family of, uh, with a missing loved one to just wake up every morning not knowing. Project director Dr. Arthur Eisenberg says his team has been successful in pulling DNA samples from the skeletal remains. But to put a name to those remains will take a living match from the victims' families. We can get DNA from each and every one of these bones, but unless we have something to compare them to, we'll never be able to make any identifications. It may be the only chance for the families of potential victims like Edward, who disappeared in 1978. How could you, could you forgive me? Recently, the lab started collecting DNA samples from prostitutes who often fall prey to serial killers. In the hope that if they meet violence, their families will have an answer. And that is the hope for the Gacy victims, too. Hopefully someday these families, the victims of John Wayne Gacy and others, will get the answers that they really have uh, waited for. In the next few weeks, scientists will begin trying to match those DNA samples to people who are living. It's a long shot, but worth it, scientists say, to deliver that news to these families who have waited so long. Don Tongish, CW33 News. Big story, Texas. Federal